everyone, I'm just here to bring you another one of my uh, journaling kits. Um, so this one is contained in, again I've tried to kind of do a bit of a um, Angie inspired um, kind of package. So I'll just try and zoom out a little bit. Still struggling with getting my tripod and setup kind of just right. Uh, trying it sitting down today, normally do it standing up um, to see whether that's kind of any better and also trying to fiddle around with my colouring because my last video was really yellow. But I'm going to try and be quicker as well because I waffle on a bit. So this one's in a kind of file folder um, style kind of pocket uh, which has been covered in lace, some sheet music. It's got this lace um, pocket here, lace and fabric pocket and in there it's just got a postcard. Um, could use that as a kind of tag or a pocket in your journals. That just goes in there. You've got a couple of flowers here um, fabric ones which been coffee stained um, all of the stuff's either been coffee stained or distress inked so you could obviously cut those off and put them on your journals as well and then if I just unclip this on the back you've got another couple of tags you've got another kind of postcard again coffee stained cardstock and could be used as a tag or a pocket and then this little tag here with a little rusted paper clip and some ribbon, little Martha Stewart butterfly, little tag and some lace. And that just tucks in there in that lace pocket on the back. And then inside the wallet, there are various items. So start with um, some coffee stained ribbon, which um, I've just kind of wound around on this handmade ribbon spool. So that's um, handmade ribbon there. And then here there's just a little coin envelope and inside there there is one of my little layered up butterflies with a little mulberry rose and some decoupage napkin. And this teeny weeny little tag um, that's just got a little bit of lace and a Martha Stewart butterfly. Hopefully you can kind of see those items there. So they go in the envelope. And then you've got another postcard, different design, um, again with some decoupage napkin on there. And then you've got another tag, which has been stitched on the sewing machine. And it's got an acetate little flap, so it would act as a tuck spot as well, like that. And then you've got a little notepad <clears throat> made from coffee stained paper, and that's just been... Um, stapled together and some lace trim and decoupage napkin on the front and then you've got some of this fabric trim which I've stitched on the sewing machine I've backed it with some cardstock to kind of make it more rigid for your uses and then um, got some photo monte trim on there and then there's a little um, handmade paper kind of journaling flower there um, with a little pearly center so that's those items and then here on this little pocket, um, the pocket itself is made from lace. It's got some little pearly trims. Um, and then it's got this fabric flower, handmade fabric flower, which has been attached with a bulb pin. So obviously you can take that off and attach that to your projects. And it's again been attached to the actual folder by this rusted um, safety pin. And then inside if I can ever get it open inside the little lace pocket there are various little items to pop in your journal I can't see whether I've got them all now right so there's a little acetate key um, stamped image there onto acetate there's a couple of little whoops frames which I really like using those in my journals and then there's a couple of little stamped postcards again really like using those in my journals and then there's a butterfly chipboard tile, which has been glossy accented as well. Oops. And then there's three other coordinating chip, uh, chipboard tiles, which have been covered in paint, uh, paper and then distress inked and got images stamped on them. Uh, so I think there's 20 items in total. Um, and obviously that's not including you know, the uh, envelope itself, the file folder, this particular lace um, little bag, uh, or these, 
you know, fabric flowers and things that you could cut off of the packaging. So I hope you liked it. Um, I'll be putting it on my Etsy store shortly. Um, I haven't ever done this before, but I'm gonna try and actually do kind of a second video or a second item in the same video. So stay tuned, let me get it. So the other kit that I'm gonna be listing, similar kind of concept. Um, again, it's a kind of Angie inspired um, uh, file folder. So this one is uh, fastened with some kind of very soft pink, pale pink netting and that can just pull off like that. So this one's got again some um, of my fabric trim which has been coffee stained and again got some cardstock to make it kind of more rigid and some diamante trim. And then on here attached to the bow got three fabric items which they've just been attached with a rusty safety pin. There's a little toad toadstool um, which again has been coffee stained and that's backed onto burlap or hessian. And then there's a little padded Eiffel Tower which is on coffee stained fabric. And then there's a little satin flower with a little diamante um, center. Again, been coffee stained and it's just backed onto felt there. So those items are just attached with a safety pin. Obviously you just take them off and then you just use them in your projects. Then on the cover of the album, it's got a decoupage um, napkin image onto the sheet music. It's got some book page, some lace, um, and then a handmade flower, some lace trim down the side. And then on the back, it's again got some sheet music and a pocket and some lace trim and things. So in here, we've got a coin envelope and we've got a couple of tags. So if I just take the tags out. So there's a tag here with a stamped sheet music image and it's been machine stitched with a little tuck spot there and also some lace trim down the side. Then there's a little kind of notepad, little flip notepad, which has again been stitched on the sewing machine and it's got some lace trim running across the top. And then here there's a coin envelope um, with a decorative frame stamped image and a postcard which has all been stitched onto the envelope and then inside the envel envelope ah, if I can actually get the things out inside the coin envelope there are a couple of um, little fabric items which again have been just stamped onto the fabric and then it's been stitched onto the burlap and it's been coffee stained and then here there's a chipboard tile with some paper and the word love and a little butterfly. Here another chipboard tile, this time a heart. It's got some decoupage napkin and stamped images on there and Martha Stewart butterflies. So that's those. And then you've got a couple of little stamped images just um, in cardstock, coffee stain cardstock, ready to glue onto your projects. And then inside the folder there's a rusted safety pin with some lace trim on it <clears throat> and that's holding in this little kind of tag or pocket. It's fabric basically that's been machine stitched, um, had some sheet music machine stitched onto it and this lovely vintage image, some paper and some lace all machine stitched. And then there's a little booklet it's just been um, stapled together and it's got some lace trim, little rusted safety pin with a little tag, chipboard tag hanging off with a decoupage napkin and a little bow. And then I don't know whether you can really see, but the flowers have also been distressing but in very pale pink to kind of pick up the colours of this little kit. So that just attaches on like that. And then on the other side, again, another rusted paperclip with some lace trim and there are two large tags. One has been um, sheet music and this kind of um, diary paper from 1925, it's just a photocopy of it. Um, and it's been backed onto cardstock and stitched on the sewing machine. And then it's got some lace trim, so probably as a pocket or a large tag. 
And then here we've got um, another tag, which again has been stitched on the sewing machine. It's got various things on it, including another one of those lovely fabric images of the Eiffel Tower, but this time not a padded one, just a flat one. Um, and some lace trim. So it coordinates nicely with kind of the fabric items on the front. And then you've got a couple of booklets, this one in some coffee stained scrapbook paper with kind of really pretty pale pink flowers. And then this just pale pink, again got some stitched lace down the side. Um, again, I think there's 20 items um, in total. And again, that's not including obviously <clears throat> the actual file folder itself or kind of this flower and things that could be cut off and used on your projects. So I hope you liked it um, and I'll be listing them in my Etsy shops shortly. Thanks very much.